All right, there we go. Yeah, I appreciate your POV. Oh my gosh. I flew into the sky. <laughs> Where am I going? <laughs> yep. What you just witnessed was a shark, controlled by the sound of my voice. So you remember that Eat a Shark game I made a little while back where you had to consume a shark in order to gain teeth in order to climb the leaderboard and nuke the place with sharks? Yeah, I decided to take things a step further. So, not so long ago, and by that I mean almost 8 months ago, Roblox released a new set of audio API to the public which expanded on your control of sound within Roblox Studio. Now what the f*** am I talking about, you must wonder. It means I can do dumb shit like this. What does this have to do with my Eat a Shark game, you may ask? Well, have you ever even considered the shark's feelings in this situation? That poor little guy just flailing around, trying to reach the ocean from which he came? Don't you want to step inside of his shoes for once? Or, I guess his fins? No? Oh, well, too bad, because I made a game anyway, nerd. I'm sorry for calling you a nerd. That was pretty rude. Would you possibly accept my apology by liking and subscribing to the channel in case you enjoyed this content? No, you won't? Okay, that's fair. I guess I'll settle on looking at this graph in shame then. So you might be wondering, Cap Fry, how in the flopping f*** are you going to program a shark that moves based on your voice? Were you even listening? Obviously with the audio API, you idiot! The new API that Roblox released actually had some neat things to play around with, so I recommend you check it out in your free time if you are some aspiring dev like me who has lost their complete sanity due to the amount of time they spend crafting pointless code. So something that's crucial to note is that the process of playing audio has multiple layers in itself. So in order to help you understand the concept here, let me dumb this down for you. You have four layers, an audio player, an audio emitter, an audio listener, and an audio output device. Basically, the audio player is what plays a certain sound of your choice, which feeds into this audio emitter here through a wire. Now, this wire basically establishes a direct connection between the two. Now, the audio emitter then emits the sound so it can emanate towards wherever it decides to travel. Like your mom. This is where our audio listener comes into play. And basically, with our audio listener, we can search for the sound coming from the emitter over here. And once again, use a wire to send it to our output device. This is basically how we get our sound through games. But we have one issue here. Our microphone works a little differently than just some simple audio player. That's because our microphone is actually an input device for the game. So we need to use something called an audio analyzer, which can help us read the data and send it through. Makes sense? Don't worry, I don't understand it either. Now that we got the structure of Roblox's audio API figured out, we need to figure out a way for us to actually play as the shark model. Of course, with my big brain and the help of the starter player folder, I was able to make that work out with this. Looks just like that shark model from the Eat a Shark game, huh? Well, it's not! You see, there's a specific rule set if you want to make your own custom characters in Roblox. A character must have a head, a humanoid root part, and a humanoid. Even if just one of these things are missing, it might not end well for your character. Hmm, I wonder why a, a character without a head would not go very well. Another common problem I've run into is the character just sliding uncontrollably due to the humanoid hip height being too low. Now, the humanoid hip height is just basically kind of leveling the character with the ground correctly, uh, so you might want to, like, bump that thing up a little so it doesn't end up sliding across the ground like I had this issue over here. Uh, but I don't know why it took me so long to figure this out! Anyways, back to the main focus of the game. We want to move the shark based on our audio input. So that means we have to actually disable the movement scripts that Roblox already has inside for us. That's simple using these two lines that I've got right here. Great! We have a shark which can be completely controlled by our voice. Okay. This should, uh... This should give him that, that squirmy that I need. Alright, let's try this. Shark! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> Hold on a second. Remember when I asked about stepping inside of the shark's shoes, right? I guess fins for once? No? Wow, you really should pay more f***ing attention. Yeah, that's right. Now you are the shark and eat a shark. You've got to run away from all of the Robloxians who want to consume you. Better start screaming in that mic. Yeah, so I pretty much just made a simple script for that where the NPCs just follow you around very slowly. Oh yeah, also you can't attack them like how the shark did in the original eat a shark game. Why? Because I'm too much of a lazy f*** to do anything. I think we've established this from the last video, but... You know, instead, when they touch you, you yourself are injured. Isn't that great? I'm too lazy to implement a system like this right now. Maybe if the video reaches 100,000 likes, meaning I will never do this because that will never ever happen. But anyways, with that, we'll just add our space to roam around and voila! Eat a shark! Except you're the shark! And you gotta move by screaming into the mic- Now what's the next thing you may ask? Grab a bunch of friends and do some stupid sh- Wait, I got I got banned again. Bruh. I keep getting banned, bro. <laughs> I didn't even say anything funny. this time. That is funny.
No, don't touch me. Don't touch me! Stop it! Oh my god! Oh no, I broke the game. I can't load anything anymore. Oh no. I think I gotta rejoin. Oh, 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 oh gosh! Help! 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 There's so many! There's so many! There's so many! Hey, I died. <laughs> oh my gosh. I <laughs> see you flying. Uh, I see, I see a shark all the way over there. Oh my goodness. I am non-existent. <laughs> I broke the game. Yo, Ethan, can you join back? Let me see. I'm still banned for like one minute, bro. <laughs> Oh, ow. Oh, ow. Oh, that hurts. Um, oh, oh, I have returned. Hello? Oh, Ethan, why? Ethan, why? I'm back. Help. Help. I'm being eaten alive. Help. Help. Oh, oh, there we go. Hey, Ethan, I'm over here. Oh. Where? Oh, hey. <laughs> What's up? Hey, buddy. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh God. <laughs> um. I'm in the Where did you go? I'm in the non-existent void. Wow, wow, I'm back. Oh, I see you. Where are you? Uh, I'm on the bench. Yeah, I see you. You're just flying. Uh, oh! <laughs> Where'd you go, Ethan? I'm all, oh, I see you. What the hell? Can I get to you? Hello? Oh! Oh my god, I see you teleporting across the map. Oh, 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 I'm in the ground. I'm in the ground. I'm in the ground. Help. I'm stuck in the ground! Yeah, I'm out of the game.